I saw Lily today. There's something about the way she smiles that seems really genuine, you know? Like her whole face lights up, not just the corners of her lips. It's like her mouth fits perfectly on her face, right below her nose and her eyes, and well, that's how everyone's face is set up, I guess. But still, there's something about the way her lips part real slightly when she brushes her hair away from her mouth. It looks so soft. I, I don't know what soft hair feels like, I, I guess, but I, I kind of assume it is. I mean, it's kind of fucked up to be creeping on my brother's girlfriend, but I'm only looking, right? I, I don't want them to split up or anything. They honestly deserve each other. I'm just looking. I remember this one time when she hugged me. She leaned over and her boobs were in my face. She didn't even notice. It was fucking incredible. She was always a good hugger. I, I mean, I'm not exactly an expert in hug quality, but of the few I've experienced, hers are definitely the best. I'll be honest, I fantasize about stealing her away from Josh more than I should. I mean, honestly, truly, they deserve each other. My favorite is when we're in class together and she's wearing that yellow dress and she's sitting in front of me and she drops her pencil and I just lean over and pick it up for her. That's it. Oh, and uh, we'd be in math, uh, AP math or, or whatever the, the most advanced one is. And Lily would fall into my arms and I'd ask her to prom and we'd be king and queen and get married and have as many fucking boob-filled hugs as we wanted. Sounds like a man at the door. I don't recognize his voice. I'm usually pretty good at that. I have a surprisingly good memory. Like, I remember learning how to read. When my brother was young, he read to me and pointed to each word as he sounded it out. I think I recognized the patterns and the sounds and the letters and then, like a little while later, I could read. It took a lot of practice, though. I was always trying to read things left around the house. I wish that people knew I had a good memory. Once when I was seven, my, my brother forgot where he put his soccer jersey, and my family flipped shit trying to find it, and I knew it was in the back seat of the car next to my chair but they spent two hours looking through the house. I think they missed the game. I don't know, I just kind of sit around and observe things. That's what I do, fly on the wall style. Honestly, I connect to those flies that wander into our house and float around before landing on me. I hated them at first, because I, I couldn't, you know, swat them or anything. And they step on shit all day and land on me. But I've learned to enjoy it. I mean, a little bit of shit is no... What is this, like the fourth time this week? Feels like the millionth.
I don't know what to do, man, when they happen. They freak out my family. My dad used to hold me and ask me over and over and over if I was okay. And I, I know it sounds weird, but my whole life I've been dependent. And my seizures let me let go, I guess. And sometimes I'll, I'll just start laughing during them. And, and, and I'm sure it's super inappropriate or annoying and whatnot, but I don't really get to laugh otherwise. I just feel like we have to do this for him. We can discuss our options. Well, we aren't going to just shoot him. I mean, we want him to go as peacefully as possible. I mean, it's pretty fucked up that my family wants to kill me, I know. It couldn't have been easy for mom and dad either. And it's not like they're giving up on me. At first, I thought that's what they were doing, but no, it, it, it's, it's not like that. They're scared that I'm not happy, and, and I wish I could tell them that I am, not for my own sake, just so they'd stop worrying. But I know they love me, like, too much, and not a lot of people can say that, so that's pretty cool. I guess I was angry at them for a bit. Angry that they were giving up, that they didn't know what to do. I was always expecting them to have the solution, I guess, because I was so lost myself. But I guess no one ever really tells you what you're supposed to do. Even my parents, they have no idea. They're just people. They're doing good. 